Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, we are gonna go on a little journey. <laughs> I had something in mind that I wanted to do and it turned out to be an epic fail and I thought I'd show that epic fail and how I kind of pivoted and turned to plan B. So uh, <laughs> I wanted to have a squeegee in here today, but that didn't happen. I have to go to the Dollar Tree and get a new one. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do a swipe that I had in mind to do originally with the squeegee, but we did pivot and use a putty knife instead. And I just thought I'd kind of show you, you know, that it, it, even if you kind of epically fail, it's okay. Just pivot, scrape it, try again, and it, it, it just keep going with it. So without further ado, let's go have some fun painting. All right, we're gonna go over the colors, the selectivator, the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. And I've recently discovered a feature on my video editing. You may have noticed and as I'm showing the colors and the consistency, I'm gonna start showing the uh, the tube instead of holding it up here just to kind of, just for time's sake, but I thought maybe that would help out a little. You can snapshot it. I always put everything in pictures at the end of the video if you're ever looking for a visual, and then it's also in the description box below, but I'm giving this a go. So if you see things changing just a little bit, that's why I'm testing out this new feature or new to me feature in my video editing tool. So the first color we've got here, is our this is the golden fluid the iridescent bright gold here is the consistency and these are all mixed up with my valspar varathane pouring medium mix today i only have one pouring medium for today and then this is the parage posse the uh the lemon the the lemon lime shimmer <laughs> almost forgot what it was called but here's that consistency and then this is where am I here? This is the uh, Joe Sonia Black Umber mixed with the this little piggy pigment uh, cappuccino. You can see that in there. There's that consistency. It's a little bit cooler in here. So my paints are a bit on the thicker side. This one is actually almost gloopy. <laughs> and <laughs> you'll see what we're going to do today. This is actually going to get rid of most of it. And that was the idea for my piece today. This is the Golden Fluid Teal, actually. There's that one. And then we have the, we have a lot of colors today. This is the Arteza Bordeaux Red. There's that one. And then the Liquitex, the Gouache. This is the Fluorescent Violet. Yeah, these are all getting a little bit gloopy on me. It's a good thing we're gonna use most of these up today. And then finally I have Joe Sonia's uh, Dioxazine Purple. And there's that consistency. And my cell activators, I have two. I've got my two usual suspects, both mixed up uh, four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And the one part paint for this, this is actually my Atelier Interactive Titanium White. There's that consistency. And then this one is the Amsterdam Oxide Black the one part paint. No gold today, just black and white cell activators. So there's those two cell activators. And then my pillow, we've got, uh, my pillow, we've got the Glidden Premium in satin today. I've got a full container of it. I just need to incorporate it a little bit, but there's what that consistency looks like. It is a bit thinner than the than the PPG. I get asked sometimes why I switch between the two. I really like both of these. They both work really well. And for the longest time, I was using the Glidden Premium in satin, sometimes eggshell, depending on the thickness, uh, it, because my environment changes to cooler and warmer. But the PPG is definitely on the thicker side, and I really adore both of these pillows, but sometimes it gets too cold in here. I can't use the PPG. It gets too thick for me, and this is a little bit thinner. So that is what we're going to use today. Now we're going to head over to the spinner box. We're going to do everything in the spinner box today, and I'm going to talk about the piece we're going to do. All right, for today's piece, we've got a 12 by 16 standard canvas taped up on the back. And I want to 
bring the squeegee back. <laughs> if you've been following me on my channel, you know I, I use this for swipes and on Thursdays what I like to do is throwback Thursdays, kind of looking, you know, a year ago what, what piece was I doing or what was I working on and uh, I've, I, a year ago, as, uh, some of my recent throwbacks, I was using uh, the squeegee for swipes. And I'm like, I really need to bring that back. It's been quite some time since I've used this. And this thing used to intimidate me, but it's, it's pretty easy to use. And, you know, but, and we'll get into all that as we're going along and swiping. But I'm going to layer up all the paints. I think I'm going to go this way. You, normally I go this way, but I'm kind of feeling to go this way. So we're going to kind of swipe this way and that way but I'm gonna just pile on all the colors and that's why I had so many colors but we're gonna lay them out here and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cell activator on here and then we'll swipe and have some fun with this piece and maybe add some palette knife swipes or not I don't know still be to be determined so I'm gonna get this flooded and then we're gonna start laying down the colors all right I've got this all flooded and some of you have asked me how I flood my canvas. I have done uh, recently a how-to on how I flood my big, bigger canvases. So go check that out. That was posted just recently, or you can look in my playlist, uh, the how-to playlist, it'll be there. All right, so the first color we're gonna do, we're gonna do kind of right in the middle, or as close to the middle again, is the gold. Next up is the Lemon Lime Shimmer. And then the Black Umber Cappuccino Mix. Kind of went heavy on the gold, but I'm lightening up on all the other colors. And then we've got the teal. Yeah, these are a little thick. <laughs> That's okay. My new favorite red, the Bordeaux red. Fluorescent violet, come on. And a little bit of the purple. I think I'm gonna go easy on this, whoops. There we go. That's a good mix. I, I, <laughs> in the past, I've always been really heavy handed with it. And I made, a re I made the pillow really thin. So in case we put too much color on and I wanted a lot of gold because I wanted some shimmer in there. So now I'm going to get that. I'm going to get this squeegee all loaded up. I, I like to do it backwards. It's just easier for me to, to hold in my hand. So I'll put it on this way. I'm going to show you what cell activators I put on here. All right, I decided to put both on. So I have the black up top and then I have the white uh, underneath it. So now we're just gonna swipe very carefully right in the center here. All right, I might not. What is going on with this? All right, you know what? All right, we have to change direction here. <laughs> I uh, I had to scrape this. I did use the squeegee and it, it was a little bit warped, so it wasn't even pressing down in the middle and it was just a hot mess. So <laughs> we're switching gears and we're gonna use this putty knife, but we're still gonna do the same. I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, four that way. And I still have enough of my colors left. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a try again. All right, I think that looks good. I'm gonna get this loaded up. I think I'm gonna put both on. I'm gonna do the the uh, the white and then the black. All right, like so. I've got the the black up top, then I have the white, and I think we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So we'll start here.
little rusty with <laughs> with that putty knife. I was having a little bit of trouble over here and I almost quit, but I'm like, you know what? We're gonna see this through. This one turned out really nice and so did this one, but I am gonna add a couple of palette swipes just to kind of bring some of the other colors. I've got a little bit left right in here and in here because as we spin, this it's, it's gonna kind of expand out and we're kind of gonna be looking right here. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add those in and then we're gonna spin it. All right, I have got uh, the black activator. I've got the purple. I've got the the violet, the fluorescent violet, the teal, and just a little bit of the red. And we're gonna see what happens with this. All right, I'm now happy with this. It's a chaotic mess, <laughs> but I'm not giving up on this second one here. We're gonna see this through because I am really digging a lot of these cells in here. I think I'm gonna do a little something right there. All right, I'm gonna give this a good spin and just to get the paint moving and then I'm gonna guide it from there. <laughs> yeah, this is a hot mess, but I kind of dig it. All right, I'm gonna keep going with it. get all that excess off that I don't like and then we'll see where we're at Ooh, yeah all the good stuff is staying and opening up this is actually turning out really cool <laughs> all right let me do one more spin Whoops, I gotta clean out my spinner box. Sorry, it's noisy. Oof, I love that I put these swipes in. I don't wanna point, I don't wanna ruin anything. All right, let me just. Move anything. You know what? I don't even want to go in there with my uh, with my palette knife to kind of do my little scoop and drags. I'm kind of digging this just as is, as a completely chaotic mess because all the cells in here are just crazy, and I'm not gonna point. Learned my lesson there, but there is just so much cool stuff in here. And while they are not colors that go together, to me they do. <laughs> this is so crazy cool. I love all the cells in here. Let me just bring this down just a little. It's over just a little bit. And I think we're about there. I'm just going to call this one done. I had to fight for this one. Boy, did I have to fight for this one, but I am absolutely digging it. Not sure which orientation yet, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I am going to get cleaned up and I'll bring you over for the flyover.
All right, here it is as a whole. I'm gonna dive in. There's a lot of nice subtle shimmers in here. A lot of that yellow is actually gold, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna dry. But this, I mean, it is it is very celestastic. I see that gold in there. A lot of neat shimmers, and that that's actually the gold. Oops, my camera will focus. The gold, and it's ringed with the lemon lime shimmer, and then we've got that cappuccino in there but all these cells I mean I had so much trouble with that squeegee um I think the little plastic part kind of got dry and warped have to get a new one so we'll come back with a squeegee but that putty knife works really nicely too look at these cells this right here so cool and I kind of like the shift when I was adding in the uh palette knife swipes just to kind of fill in what didn't come out nicely and that's that's what's nice about swipes is you can just really do whatever you want if you have a part that didn't come out so well you know what do a palette and I swipe over it it'll be just fine you'll get something really unique this is definitely something interesting and not in a bad way I am totally digging it I can't wait to see how this dries so I will be back once it's dried to show you the dried results all right I wanted to dive right in and show you uh, all the goodies in this piece it dried really nicely as you saw it wet it did not move whatsoever and all those really awesome cells stayed and it has some really nice texture so i just kind of wanted to show you that right off the bat and that that yellow you, you can see uh is really the gold and it has a nice subtle shimmer but you know, with the difference uh, between the pouring medium and the cell activator, you know, it creates a little bit of a texture, if you can see that in there. I, I love texture. I'm a texture girl, but this just kind of looks like snakeskin and all these cells. Just gorgeous. I mean... I love this piece. Uh, you know, I was ready to scrape this one as well, but I decided, you know, I, we're going to see it through. Something's telling me to keep going with this one. And all these cells, even the, the palette knife swipes we added, just turned out really nicely. But uh, now I kind of want to see the different orientations on this piece. So let's go check that out. Looks a little bit darker over here. But I like this orientation. This is my first favorite orientation, but we're going to flip it uh, a couple of other ways as well. I like this one as well. This one's pretty cool. Ooh, this one's nice too. I think I like it horizontally. Uh, as opposed to vertically. Let's check out the last horizontal. I meant the last vertical. <laughs> yeah, this one's not bad either, but you know what? I'm partial to horizontal. Uh, I'd love to hear what you're partial to, if you like it horizontally or if you like it vertically. So I'm gonna flip you around now for my final thoughts. Definitely changes under different lighting. This this middle gets really dark and uh, what you can do, I'm not going to, cause I'm, I'm really digging all the texture in here, but if you want to take like a gold marker and kind of maybe even outline some of the cells in here just to kind of make the center pop a little bit more. But but uh, I really had a lot of fun with this piece, despite my epic fail <laughs> at the beginning with the squeegee. But I really wanted to show what, you know, what you could do. Just pivot. Just try again. I And I was ready to throw in the towel with this one as well. But something inside me said, nope. You know what? Continue with this. Let's see it through. Sometimes... Uh, something I think that's going to go horribly wrong turns out to be so cool and I did I was not disappointed with the cells in this piece so let me know uh, what you thought of this piece in the comments below I'd love to hear uh, the orientation and uh, how you liked the swipe itself so with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>